So I'm shook, like, like I'm really, really shook. Like, I start, the first thing that goes through my head is like, yo, I lied. I told my mom that I was going with my boys, and I'm about to, like, I'm with, I'm at a girl house, I'm in front of her house. Booth, ayy, buy that shit straight to the booth, ayy. Tell me my health is a fool, ayy. She said one fuck, bitch, I do, ayy. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jimmy Official, back here again with another video. Yo, I got a story for you guys. I'm pretty sure everybody, every child, every kid, every teenager has lied to their parents. At least once. At least once. If you didn't lie to your parents before, I don't care if it's something big or little or taking something or stealing something or breaking something. We all, you know, we're kids, we're teenagers, and like, we all do stupid shit and we all regret it and we all lie sometimes. Sometimes lying is the best option to get out, you know, instead of telling the truth and getting your ass whooped a couple times. You get tired of getting your ass whooped. Of course, I don't get my ass whooped, but like other people get their ass beat and shit like kids and younger teenagers. But this story is about when I lied to my parents and I locked my keys in my car. So the lie that I told to my parents was exposed because I locked my keys in my car, which my wallet was in my car, which my phone was in my car. So it was like... Damn, what do I supposed to do? So, let's get to it, man. Before I tell this story, make sure you go leave a like. Go subscribe to my channel. We are definitely growing up as a team. Jimmy Official Game, we're on our way up. 2,000 subscribers in one month. We definitely made the accomplish that goal. So, let's get another 2,000. Let's keep going. All right. So, it all started, right? It was a Friday night, you know. Just got, the, just got my car. It was like my first... My first weekend with my first car. And, you know, I was hyped up. You know, why not go out with a couple friends? You know, let's, let me go out. Let me have fun. Let me get out the house. I got my own car. I got my license. Everything I could wish for. You know, I was 17 years old. And, you know, when you're a kid, when you're a teenager, and you get something like your license or something or money, you just you want to blow it or you just want to go. You just want to rush everything. Everything's rush, rush, rush. No wait. No, I'm out of here. I got to go. I'm out. So, it was a Friday, my boys hit me up, yo, let's go out, let's go do something as a team, let's do something as a group, you know, I like, alright. So, I took me a little nap before it. it was time for me to bounce, you know, go meet it with my guys. It was about 4, 5 o'clock, I just woke up from my nap, you know, boys said, alright, let's meet up, go meet up at my boy house. And, so, I woke up from my nap, I took a shower, this was a school, we just had school that day also we just had school it was a friday we just had school so i came home took a nap woke up took a shower you know got my clothes ready you know i'm on snapchat you know i got my new car about to go out about to go have fun you know i'm hyped up i'm gassed up whatever you want to call it so it's like basically i was rushing everything you know my mom always told me to be careful when you're driving don't rush you know I just got my car, so let her know where I'm going and stuff like that. All right, fine. It doesn't matter where I'm going. Just let her know so she know I'm safe and I'm all right. So, a girl hit me at the same time. I put with my boys, you feel me? And basically, it was a one-time offer for the girl. And, you know, I could always chill with my boys and hang out with my dudes, you know, always. So, I was like, I told my boys, yo, I'm going to go chill with a girl. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit, I'm hit up with you guys later on after I'm done with her, you know? Like, bam, bet, I handle that. So I told my mom, I was going with my boys. Going with my boys, you know? She knew my boys, I was going out with them, about to probably go eat, probably go car ride and skate, something. Bowling, something. So, basically, um, I got all dressed, you know, perfume on. Got, I had a new pair of J's that came out a week before that. I had put them J's on for the first time. I think it's my gold 11s. My I forgot what they're called. They're they're Jordan 11s, but they're gold. I forgot what they're called. Um, metals something. I forgot. But so basically, I was all fresh. I had just got a haircut that Thursday, so I was looking all good. You know, I'm handsome. I got a haircut right now. It is all good. So basically, um, I'm rushing to go out. So you know, I grab my keys. I'm rushing. I forget my fucking wallet downstairs. So I had to run back from the car, go back downstairs, go get my wallet. So I told my mom, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be home later, you know. I bounced. I was gone. Went to go meet up with the girl, you know. So pull up to her crib, you know. We chilling. 
you know, we talking, we in a car, listening to music, you know. I asked her was she hungry, she said yeah. So, you know, we went and grabbed something to eat. And, like, it was weird because I never ever did this with nobody else's keys or nothing. Like, I never, like, forgot my keys in my, in my car or, like, threw them or lost my keys. Like, keys, keys and phone is, like, two things that I always make sure I got when I'm leaving somewhere or something like that. Like, I'm pretty sure everybody, you guys make sure you got your phones. Like, that's one thing, somebody is still or something, you just leave it behind or leave it down. So basically, I don't know what I was thinking. My keys, I don't have the car anymore. I have a new car now. But you guys know how you have a key, right? You have a car key and it has like the buttons that go with it. So you have your car key, then you have the, the little remote. So basically, my dumbass, you know, I dropped the girl on the way back, dropping the girl off at home. I got out the car and I took my remote off the key. So it's the keys in the ignition still, the car's running. And I took the remote out. And basically, you know, I try to be fancy, walk her to the door, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm, I'm a sweet, handsome, you know, I'm sweet. Like, I'm, I'm a gentleman, you know? So basically, I left the key in the ignition and I locked the doors and I took the remote out. And I closed the doors, you know, we closed the doors, I walked her up to her house. And so in my head, I'm thinking that just cause like I have the remote so I can just unlock the door with the unlock button, even though the car's on. So I can lock the doors, lock the, close the doors and open the doors with the remote. So, you know, hug her and stuff, you know, she goes back in her house. So I'm all like, you know, I'm feeling good, you know, I'm feeling great, you know, just, you know, met up with somebody, you know, chilling, all oh, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, we walk back, I walk back to my car. I walk back to my car and I click that button on my remote to unlock the doors. And I go to open the door, it's locked. So I'm like, I get scared, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Yo, yo, I'm over here shook. So I'm shook, like, like I'm really, really shook. Like, I start, the first thing that goes through my head is like, yo, I lied. I told my mom that I was going with my boys and I'm about to, like, I'm, with, I'm at a girl house. I'm in front of her house. I'm in front of her house, you know? And it's not even no apartments, like, where, like, people think, oh, it's hella apartments. It's a fucking house, dog. It's a house. I didn't even pull in the driveway, you know, I'm in the front of the house, I just pulled up, my lights are on, my car's running, I got my music on, and imagine, I had a system in my car, so the music is loud. Speakers in my trunk, I have the deck all the way up, blasting, you know, I thought it was going to be something fast, I walk into her house, I hop back in and I pull off. My music's blasting, my car's running, I barely had enough gas to get home when I was able to get back in my car. So it was like, I'm like, oh my God. I'm thinking the battery dead on my remote or something. The lights blinking, but the no doors are unlocking. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So basically I had, um, I had my phone in my pocket. Just before I had walked up to her house, I left my phone in my car and I opened the door back up and I got my phone and I locked the door. So thank God I had my phone in my pocket. So like, who wants to call their mom and tell their mom Ma, I'm stuck at a girl house. I left my keys in my car. And they got a car triple A. And they got to pull up to your car and unlock your door with the little handle or whatever they use to open doors. Like, I was embarrassed. The girl's in her house. She probably looking at me and shit like, this nigga's stupid. Parents looking at me like, who is this black nigga? I'm embarrassed. Car running. I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed. People driving past me. Not one person. Decided to stop me, like, hey, are you okay? He's just going past me, going past me. I'm embarrassed, dog. Uh. So, my phone was on, and it was like 20, 25%. I had enough battery to call, make a phone call. So, I locked my keys in my car, and I'm over there just sitting here. I literally sat in front of my car for about 10 to 15 minutes thinking about what should I do? Should I call Triple A and pay for them to unlock my car, which is like 100 bucks? Or should I call my mom and use Triple A and get it unlocked for free? But the only negative thing about that is my mom's gonna be mad at me. I'm gonna be embarrassed in front of a girl house. Like, I was stuck. I was like, what do I do? So basically, I went with the negative decision, which is kind of positive because I didn't have to come up my pockets and pay hella money to unlock my car doors that I locked the keys in. So I called my mom, you know. Call my mom, right? I dial her number, it start ringing. You know, you ever be so scared, your stomach start hurting? I call her, it start ringing. She 
she picked up the phone. I was like, Ma. She was like, what? I was like, I locked my keys in my car. She was like, how you do that? I was like, I don't know. You know, I was like, I don't know. Like, I didn't know how I did the shit. It just happened, you know? I'm thinking I can lock the shit with my remote. She was like, where you at? I was quiet for about four, three seconds. I said, I'm at this girl house. She went off on me. She went off. You ever be so scared? Like, I don't get hit or nothing. But you ever be so scared? Like, you know you did something wrong? And you know your mom get home? It's bad for you, so you just like want to go to sleep type shit, you just scared? Bro, I was set outside of my car, bro. My mom said she was on her way. I see my mom pull up. I was so scared. Like, I'm telling you, I was shook, bro. I don't I don't know why, why we scared about moms. Like, I don't know. Like, we just know our moms is nothing to play with. Like, we just, everybody black people, like, we just know our moms is nothing to play with, dog. She pulled up. The first thing she told me was... You know you're gonna have to pay for this, right? I was like, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I knew I had to pay anyway, I would've called Triple A myself and nobody would've knew that I locked my keys in my car. So, basically, she was messing with me. So she's telling me that they're gonna charge me about $150 to unlock my car. And I, I, I started going online looking at the prices. I see $100, $120, I'm like, oh my God, bro. Like, that was my money for the week, dog. I had 100 160, 170 bucks that week to spend, just blow it, you feel me? So like, I'm over here scared, like, yo, I'm about to pay all this money to lock my car doors, I ain't gonna be able to buy no more takeout food, I'm about to eat like other shit, and I ain't gonna be able to get the new J's, and like, I'm over here mad as hell, bro. So the Triple A people had came, and you know, she has a car, the Triple A, and basically, they came, she showed them the card, and they unlocked my doors for free. After all, it was free. I didn't know it was free at all. Because once he finished, it was like a Puerto Rican guy. He unlocked my door, and I had the money in my hand. I was like, giving it to him. He was like, nah, free, free, free. So I was happy as hell. But like, ever since then, yo, I bought a, um, I bought a keychain. Because I never used to have a keychain like that. I used to have like just like the little um, clip thing. So I bought a keychain and I keep this around my neck at all times because I never want to get locked out of my house or my car running, gas, just going. Like, and I just have filled my tank up too. My car is running for about an hour and a half or two. So I wasted all my gas that day and I got caught lying. And that girl, she recorded me outside my car. Talk about, put me on Snapchat, talk about um, dumb niggas be like, more videos is coming soon. I got hella pranks for you guys. Like, trust me, I got hella pranks and hella shit coming. Jimmy Official Gate, we here. Make sure you go subscribe. Go leave a like right now, bro. For more story times coming soon, bro.